Hi Leo, this is your January 9th through January 15th weekly tarot reading. I do five separate spreads in my weekly readings. We'll have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love in an existing relationship or marriage. Um, I'll do an X spread. We'll talk about your work, your business, and your finances, and we'll see what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, share, and subscribe to support this channel. This first spread is a new love this week. Um, we have the eight, the Page of Cups, clarified by the Emperor. We have the Ace of Swords. We have the Chariot, clarified by the Knight of Pentacles. In the potential outcome, we have the Two of Cups with the Wheel of Fortune and the Empress. And we have the Four of Wands on the bottom of the deck. I am so, so impressed, Leo. Uh, you could be dealing with pretty much any Zodiac sign. We have Aries. We have Cancer, Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Sagittarius. We have... Um, Libra. But uh, you've got absolutely everything going for you in this spread. It's been a long time since I've seen a spread this good. First of all, we have every single element on the table. We've got cups, we've got swords, we've got uh, pentacles, we've got wands, right? Uh, we have this four of wands on the bottom of the deck, all the way to your right, which is the commitment or marriage card. And it's a fire sign indicator, right? So you are a fire sign. There is multiple commitment or marriage cards in the tarot deck, and you've got this one in particular. And most importantly, we have the emperor and the empress in the same spread. They're so far apart. <laughs> the emperor is actually a clarifier, but I think it's just the way, the way of the universe to show you just... This is such an important person coming into your life, right? And they're coming in with the Page of Cups. I assume you're the Empress, uh, Leo, but you can assign the roles as you wish, right? You can be the Emperor or the Empress, but for the reading's sake, just to make it simpler or easier, I assume you're the Empress. So we start off with the Page of Cups, and it's clarified by the Emperor. It's just a page. I don't mean to belittle the Page of Cups, but come on, it's just a page. Right? But it's clarified by the Emperor. All right? The Emperor could be an Aries you're dealing with, but again, the Emperor and the Empress together in the same spread. This is your future husband, your future wife, your future significant other. There is no other way to interpret that when both the Emperor and the Empress show up in the same spread. This is a husband and wife. All right? The Page of Cups, this is just somebody approaching you, offering you to purchase you a beverage, or just somebody who is being super nice to you, asking you out on a date. Just a page. The rest of the spread is just major, all right? So right after that small little page of cups, here comes the Ace of Swords. And the Ace of Swords is not a little nice page of cups. <laughs> With the Ace of Swords, this, um, the Emperor will be crystal clear about what they want. Or perhaps it's clarity for both of you, that both of you belong together, right? That's what the Ace of Swords is. It's a, it's a card of clarity. It's like an, almost an epiphany. With the Ace of Swords, nobody is playing or fooling or messing around. With the Ace of Swords, it's just going to be very st straightforward, very upfront with this person. I think both of you will immediately realize just how important this connection is for the two of you. All right, we have the Chariot in the middle, clarified by the Knight of Pentacles. The Chariot could be a Cancer you're dealing with. The Chariot is one of the fastest cards in the deck. It's a card of victory, success, triumph. Who rides the Chariot? Both the Emperor and the Emperors ride the Chariot. So symbolic, right? This is a card of moving forward and not looking back. The Knight of Pentacles, clarifying it could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but the Knight of Pentacles is the most stable, the most grounded, the most thought through Knight out of all for Knights. The Knight of Pentacles always brings in long term and money. <laughs> all right? In the potential outcome, we have the Two of Cups with the Will of Fortune and the Empress. The Two of Cups is a soulmate card. It's a card of unconditional love. It's a card of when two people are on the same page, two people feeling the same way towards one another. The Will of Fortune in the middle could be a Sagittarius, but the, it's a start of a cycle. A very important, very fortunate new cycle. The Will of Fortune is always good news in my spreads. And there you are, the Empress. Again, you can assign the roles as you wish. I assume you're the Empress. Together with the Emperor, husband and wife. The four of ones on the bottom of the deck, as I already mentioned, it's a commitment to marriage. Some people call it the 1111 card. So symbolic. So, so symbolic. Leo, this is just amazing. Okay, the uh, four of ones always reminds me of an actual wedding, by the way. 
because when people get married in some cultures they do it in so under this structure with the leaves and branches on top of it so the the structure pictured in the 401s always reminds me of that but ultimately it is a commitment of marriage card so wow just wow leo it's been a while since i saw a spread like this I'm not even going to do an extended because that would be a complete waste of time. Really, really happy for you, Leo. Congratulations. Leo, if you are already married or if you're in a relationship, this spread is for you. We have the Two of Swords, the Page of Swords. Uh, then we have the Two of Cups, Clarified by the Chariot, and the Knight of Wands on the bottom of the deck. Um, you will be at the crossroads this week and uh, you'll be doing some research. And uh, you will find whatever it is you're looking for and uh, you will move forward. <laughs> yep, it's as simple as that. So the Two of Swords, the first card I came out, is that Crossroads card. Most likely a choice, right? For some of you, it could be a choice between a couple of different cards. If you are looking to buy a new card, that's what, you're, that's what you have a choice of. Others of you could be thinking of your next uh, vacation destination, right? Um, or it could be whatever, some kind of a new beginning that you're getting all excited about. So the Page of Swords, the next card over, it's a card of a research in this particular case, or a message, or both messages and research at the same time. Perhaps you are reaching out to uh, people or reaching out to companies companies and they're going to be getting back to you with some information right but the page of swords is a card of um, somebody who is spying right in this case it will translate into you <laughs> you know doing your research online or what have you um, the two of cups the next card that came out uh, is clarified by the chariot right the two of cups is a card of when two people are on the same page it's also a card of a handshake right so if you're buying a new car you will shake hands you will uh, do some paperwork or perhaps with the Two of Cups, this is you and your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your significant other, and uh, you're getting on the same page about the car you want to purchase or uh, the vacation destination you want to go to, or whatever it is, right? The Chariot clarifying the Two of Cups could be that car I've been talking about, <laughs> or it's a card of going somewhere, or it's a card of a very... Um, successful new beginning. You will feel good about this new beginning. Speaking of you feeling good, the Knight of Wands on the bottom of the deck, I think that's also you, right? You are fire sign, but with the Knight of Wands, this is you getting all excited, getting all, all fired up, get, getting all passionate about this new beginning. Or a new car. <laughs> or this destination you want to go to. Alright? Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Leo, this week. Keep in mind, it could be somebody from a couple of months ago, a year ago, or a couple of years ago, so it doesn't have to be the most recent exo. We also have a couple of retrogrades, Mercury and Mars. Still raging on. Mars will be raging on until the 12th. Mercury will continue. Um, so this is when more exes than usual tend to resurface. And uh, here's one of them. We have the Hermit clarified by the Five of Pentacles. Uh, we have the Five of Swords, the Knight of Swords clarified by the Ten of Swords. And we also have Judgment on the bottom of the deck. You know what? Whatever their zodiac sign is, the answer is going to be absolutely no. Um, and I actually feel sorry for them because uh, you, you will let them have it. You will definitely let them have it. The Hermit, the first card I came out, it could be a Virgo you're dealing with, but the Hermit could be somebody who's gone within, did some soul searching, went to a monastery or something like that. Right, then now they're coming back. They feel left out in the cold with that Five of Pentacles clarifying uh, the Hermit. The thing about this spread is that there is no offers. <laughs> there is no pages. There is no uh, aces. There is a Knight, the Knight of Swords, but I think that's your reaction. Right? We do have Judgment on the bottom of the deck, which is a card of somebody coming back from the past. But it's like they will, op it's, they will not even have enough time to open up their mouth to, to start this conversation. Right? You're just going to chase them out of your life with a with vengeance. <laughs> the Five of Swords, the Ninth of Swords, the Ten of Swords, yeah, you're just chasing them out. I don't know what they did to you, but um, yeah, you're not welcoming them back into your life. All right? Cool. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, Leo, this week. We have uh, the Five of Pentacles, the Six of Wands, clarified by the Sun. Uh, we have the Knight of Pentacles, clarified by the Nine of Cups, and we also have the Three of Wands on the bottom of the deck. Well, this is a big, major turnaround for you. We start off with the Five of Pentacles. This is a card of somebody who doesn't have enough money, somebody who is unemployed, you know, somebody who feels left out in the cold, somebody who is not doing so well, 
financially, right? But the rest of the spread is just completely opposite, right? The six of wands, the next card over, is a card of victory, success, recognition, right? So perhaps you're getting a job, you're getting promoted, um, you're getting that raise, um, or you're getting a contract, if you run your own business, you're winning <laughs> with the Six of Wands, right? The Sun clarifying the uh, Six of Wands is one of your major arcana cards, so that's you. It's also the happiest card in the deck. The Knight of Pentacles, the next card over is money coming your way, or a job, or a contract, or that promotion, or a government assistance, I don't know. It could be a business loan, but the Knight of Pentacles is always talking about very decent chunk of change. The Nine of Cups clarifying that, there is a card of a wish come true, it's also a card of personal satisfaction and fulfillment, so that's how you'll feel. With the Thea wants on the bottom of the deck, that could be either you or the person or the company um, that you're dealing with. Perhaps you applied for a job, you went through a bunch of interviews, and they are making up their mind and they're choosing you. Or perhaps now that you've got all this money in the bank, what the thing wants, this is you making future plans. This is you deciding what you want to do next. Either way, amazing spread. Money coming your way. Alright? Cool. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen, Leo, this week. We have the Empress, the Ten of Pentacles, the Two of Cups, and the Ten of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You know what, I'm sure if I were to clarify any of those cards, um, the Emperor would have showed up. Because I am convinced this spread right here is pretty much a repeat of the new love spread. Amazing, just amazing. Wow, this is a different deck. I use different decks for different spreads. So we have the Empress, we have the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. Just one of those two, either the Ten of Pentacles or the Ten of Cups, would have been awesome. You got both of them. Right, so you're basically getting the best of both worlds. The Ten of Pentacles in this case is a very practical card, right? This is when people buy real estate together, they enjoy their financial stability together. The Ten of Cups is a card of emotional fulfillment. It's the happily ever after card. And with both of them on the table, like I said, you're, get, you're getting the best of both worlds. The Two of Cups right next to the deck is a soulmate card. It's a card of when two people are on the same page, two people in love with each other. It's a card of unconditional love, and that's what you're not expecting. Wow, what a, what an unbelievable reading, Leo. <laughs> I'm not going to spend any more time on this. This is just off the chart. It's It's been a while since I saw um, a new love reading as amazing as this right here, including the new love spread. Alright, so yeah, that's what I have for you, Leo, uh, for this reading, for this week. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Leo, have an amazing week.